Tonight, disturbing video showing the final moments of life for a man who died in police custody. I can't breathe. The victim's family blaming police for 38-year-old Edward Bronstein's death, now suing the officers involved, claiming they ignored his cries for help and didn't render aid quickly. I hope they pay for what they did and I want justice. Bronstein was stopped by California Highway Patrol in March of 2020 for allegedly driving under the influence. Video released this week by court order appears to show officers attempting to get a blood sample. You can just provide it and still say you don't consent. That's fine. Nearly a minute into the exchange. This is your last opportunity. Otherwise, you're going face down on the mat. Officers appear to continue coaxing Bronstein. Then this. Several officers appear to restrain Bronstein in order to take the sample. Bronstein can be heard screaming throughout the ordeal, at one point declaring, I can't breathe. A I can't breathe. Just stop yelling. Within seconds, no more screams. Now, the lawsuit and the attorney for Bronstein's family seizing on how officers responded to those cries. He says, I can't breathe. 12 times is what I counted. 12 times he says, I can't breathe. Not one officer took the action to pull the others off of him. Pull him to his side. Do something to give him air. After about a minute and a half of silence, someone appears to check Bronstein's pulse as the blood draw continues. 30 seconds later, that person begins tapping Bronstein's cheek, something seen multiple times throughout the more than 17 minute video. Edward. Edward. Come up. The blood drawing appears to continue until about four minutes later when police roll Bronstein over. Lift his head up. Get his airway open. An autopsy found Bronstein died of a meth overdose while restrained by police. Edward. Edward. Where is CPR? Where is first aid? His screams, his face, them slapping him around. It will live in my head forever. Bronstein's family is now suing the California Highway Patrol and the officers involved, alleging negligence, wrongful death, assault, and battery, among other claims. I want them put away so they will never hurt nobody again. It's unclear whether the officers involved are being investigated in connection to Bronstein's death. California Highway Patrol declined to comment on the case, citing pending litigation. The family is also calling on the Los Angeles County District Attorney to file criminal charges against the officers. The DA's office tells NBC News the matter remains under review. I wish my dad was here every day and there's nothing that will take that away. Priscilla Thompson joins us now live in studio. So many questions for that family, Priscilla. Now, uh, the California Highway Patrol, as you reported, they're not really commenting, not saying a whole bunch about this case. But what do we know about the department's policy? Do they have one about ways and techniques that officers are supposed to investigate and restrain someone who may be under the influence? Yeah, well, Vicki, we reached out to California Highway Patrol with those specific questions, and they did not respond. And while they haven't said much about the specifics of this incident, I did speak with a former police chief and member of President President Obama's policing task force, and he emphasized to me that that is why many dish, uh, departments across the country do these blood draws in medical facilities, because you don't know a person's medical history. You don't know what, if anything, they may be under the influence of. And so it's really important to be in a position to render aid immediately if something like this does happen. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.